Brandon Contino and Daniel Chi didn't enroll in Pitt's Swanson School of Engineering, expecting to launch their own startup company. Inspired as engineers are to solve problems and supported by a growing culture of innovation and entrepreneurship at Pitt, that is exactly what they have done. Four growers, as it sounds like, um, we started originally started with four people um, and we wanted to build our own hydroponic farms. Their entrepreneurial journey began by entering the Randall Family Big Idea Competition, Pittsburgh's largest student innovation competition with $100,000 in prizes coordinated by the Big Idea Center at Pitt's Innovation Institute. We went through the Randall Big Idea Competition with our first project, but at the end of the competition, we actually won um, absolutely nothing, and that really um, helped us to realize that there's, there's a deeper problem here. Um, um, the idea is itself not sustainable, and that helped us uh, pivot a little bit and talk more to growers, um, to hydroponic growers, to figure out exactly what's working for them, what's not working for them. As we call these greenhouses and talk to um, greenhouse after greenhouse to figure out what's working for them, one of the things that we, we repeatedly hear is that there's a lack of labor, there's a labor issue. So they made a major shift in their business and they came back the following year and they just took the grand prize, $25,000. With their problem now clearly defined, they set out to develop a solution and build a team. I have a background um, in, in mechanical engineering and developing robotic hands. Brandon has a background in developing autonomous drones and autonomous robots. So we thought, hey, we're the perfect combination to develop robots to solve this labor problem. Most of our team originally started inside Swanson School of Engineering. But through the competition, we met people from the law school, from the business school, and put all of those people from different disciplines together and look at the same problem from different angles. As their idea and team gained momentum, Four Growers was selected to represent Pitt at regional and national competitions. They were the uh, representatives from the University of Pittsburgh for the ACC Inventure Prize competition, which is a national competition of all the ACC universities. They did very well. We have never made it to the final round in the past in that competition, and we at Pitt not only made it to the final round, but we took second place. Coming out of those competitions, they got even more good news. So they applied to a number of different accelerators, some locally and some nationally, and they got accepted uh, into Y Combinator, which is perhaps the, the most well-known accelerator in the entire world. And Y Combinator is a program, it's kind of like a summer camp, where they put um, college students together and give them um, a, a couple thousand dollars to sustain themselves and develop the idea. And at the end of the summer, um, they had a giant showcase where they bring investors and um, pitch the ideas to them. Four Growers joins the growing ranks of student-led startups emerging from Pitt. All of the student spin-out companies and startups that have happened over the past four years since the Innovation Institute has been around, every single one of them will say the same thing. None of them came to Pitt to become an entrepreneur. They didn't really know that they could, but they learned while they were here that not only could they, but they should. We're toward the end of the fundraising phase now, and what we're looking to do for the next couple of months um, is to hire three additional people and to build out our team. And the, the ultimate goal is by the end of 2019 um, to have our robot finalized and be ready for production. If everything goes well, in five years, we'll have our tomato harvesting robot, um, our pepper harvesting robot, and our cucumber harvesting robot, along with the software packages that we're developing. And um, ideally, we'll be a company around 100 people and have our products out there in US, um, Europe, and potentially um, even Asia. For Daniel Chi, the life of an entrepreneur has become infectious. I've had experience um, working in engineering firms through the co-op program at Swanson. And compared to this, it's night and day difference. Um, inside this startup, um, I'm the accountant, I'm, I'm the treasurer, I'm the vice president. Um, the, all these roles, um, require me to be learning new things every day, and that's exactly what I wanted to do.